that out of the way all together. So I can take this apart. You need me to help you, huh? Yeah, probably. No, I'm fixing to come down is what I'm fixing to do. It's a lot easier to work on that table than it is up here. And that's the reason we're going with a roll off next time. Everything, you'd be standing on the ground for everything. I mean, the uh, dome has some advantages for sure, but it's got some disadvantages. Yeah, ladders. Ladders stink. <laughs> They're old people. So what I'm going to do, see, and I've got the, uh, and that pushes the camera skew, right. and that creates ra uh, gradients. What I'm going to do is take that out. It's got the MFR5 on it. Okay. Yes. And an itis filter. What filter? You, you gonna keep that filter on? Which yeah, one? Yeah. Since, you, since you're gonna go to uh, a common, common tonight. Table. Yeah. That's good for nebulas and uh, light sources. And well, let me think about that for a second. The itis has a built-in UVIR cut. Also, you don't need that for those type objects for galaxies and comets. Right. But we have to have some kind of light pollution for our yeah, for our for conditions. Our so. Stars. Uh, the only other one I've got available is the, uh, I can put on the, uh, the UHC alone. That creates its own problems too, because if you don't have a uh, UVIR cut, you start getting star book pretty quickly. But uh, Well then keep that on, because we, we might be doing some we still might be able to longer see it. exposures too, yeah. and if that yeah. helps us from... Let's do that. Okay, and that, that's that adapter I was telling you about yes. right there, so i take that out. You're going to replace that with the quick lock. I've got to... This is the pain here because I mean the CCD. Man, that's this a big, that's a big three inch. Well, it's made for a heavy CCD cameras and all the drive or, or right. camera train and everything. Right. So and they want it fixed so it does not uh, a flex move budge. So they definitely uh, build them. You know when we get on the ground, it, uh, when you get on the ground in the other observatory, you can purchase one of those and just swap. Not the best way to do it, but it's what I've got to work with right now. So, well, the issue is not bringing it to focus, but uh, centering that camera with the baiter, that's the important part right now. All right, well, we're going to keep on working. i got to get these uploaded before tonight. We'll see you later.